This section that we're going to look at right now is the main section of the Tooth Atlas Hygiene version 6.0, and that's the permanent dentition section. You notice on the front page that there is a part of a mouth. If we go over and roll over these teeth, you notice on the right hand side that the tooth comes up as well as the nomenclature in the three popular nomenclature systems, Universal, Palmer, and International. And if we click on these teeth as they come up, you will go to that particular tooth. Now, we realized early in this development there's a number of different ways of looking at the reality of this. And so what we've done rather than select just one way is we've put them all in there because you can learn from each different presentation. The first is what we call rotations and slices. And what this is is a photograph of the external surface of the tooth on the left. The middle model is a computer model generated off of the CT scan and the image on the right is an x-ray generated off of the CT scans. And these are micro CT scans that are done at about 10 to 20 microns per pixel. These are sequentially set up so you can rotate through these, they're synchronous. So you can see how the internal anatomy is reflected on the x-ray and how that is reflected on the external anatomy. On the right hand side of the page, we have cross sections through the tooth. And the cross sections on the upper image are actual machinings of a real tooth. We put these in a milling machine, computer controlled milling machine, and actually mill sections down all the way through the tooth. So we can start at the top of the tooth, cusp tips, and take a trip all the way down through the cross sections, all the way down to the apex. The cross sections on the bottom are generated off of data from the CT scan. So you get two different views of these cross sections. Let's go back to the index again, show you how that works. We'll pick another tooth here. We'll go to the upper first molar. It lights up. We click on it. Now we're going to go to the 3D models. And this is really the heart of the atlas. These are models of real human teeth that are generated off of micro CT scans again and they're processed, so we end up with a model of the dentin, a model of the enamel, and a model of the pulp. These can be individually controlled. So right now we've selected the dentin, and we can take the dentin and make it completely transparent or completely opaque. In this case, we'll go make it completely opaque. We'll select the enamel, do the same thing with it. And now we have a tooth that's basically the external surface of the tooth. And from a periodontal situation, what you're interested in is how this anatomy hides the calculus that you're interested in when you're doing your deep scaling. So we can look at root concavities and that type of thing. Um, I'm an endodontist in my early training, and of course I'm interested in pulp spaces, so I can now go in and take this dentin and make it semi-transparent and look at the pulp spaces inside here. So you have the ability to control this representation. We have about 200 models in the hygiene version of the atlas. A third way we've got to look at these is the, what we call the morphology section. And this was developed by Dr. Charles Goodacre from Loma Linda University. And what he's done the last 20 years is actually developed an anthology of all of the information that's literally ever been written about teeth. And part of that, he took and created averages of the dimensions from all of the literature. So the dimensions that were used to create these teeth, which are to scale, are the average dimensions of all of the literature that's out there. So this is the quintessential average tooth, if you will. It's done as drawings. There's five views, so you can do lingual views, facial views, distal views. Etc. Let's go back to the facial view. And each one of these views is a number of features that people are interested in. And there's a couple of different ways of getting into this. We can do rollovers and discover what features people are interested in. Or we can go through the descriptors, click on them. You'll light up what area of the tooth that's involved here. And as well as having a descriptor, you'll notice that there are colored letters in here. This relates back to the glossary section. So each one of these 
words it's colored, it has a glossary definition that goes with it. And you'll also notice that there are references, in this case, Ash and Wheeler, that the books that have generated this information come from. The companion to this is the comparison sections, also developed by Dr. Goodacre using the same data. But this compares the teeth to its neighbors or the teeth in the opposing arch. In this case, we're looking at the occlusal views of all of the upper molars. And again, we'll go through this and you can see which structures are of interest and what those differences are. The third thing we'll look at in this section is simple clinical radiographs. And these are radiographs that are designed to be a basic ideal radiograph of this particular tooth, in this case, the upper first molar. You can go in and roll over, again, using that type of protocol to find out what these other structures are. We can go in and click on these, define what they are, or for instance, if you want to show all of them, these are all the structures that are defined in this particular part. The next is the x-ray database. This is a collection of basically endodontic cases because they do show the anatomy really well because the canals are filled of various forms that you will get. Sometimes there are abnormalities that are done photographically, but this shows the wide variations in morphology that you can get into when you're looking at clinical situations. The last thing is a study quiz. And there's so much information in this section that it's difficult to know what's important and what's not. And this study quiz is based on a national board type of question. Gets you used to taking those if you're a student, but it also helps you focus in on the information that you're likely to get on the national board. So you can go in and take this test. We'll just guess at the answer here. And got it right. Luck is with me. We'll go to the next question, guess on that again. Got that one wrong. But you give yourself a grade and you can see how you would do on this. We'll go back. So what we're looking at in this section is the ability to look at the permanent teeth in a whole variety of different modalities.